man. <laughs> All right, let's just try that again. Oh, maybe there's a nearby super raid I can get Sam um, to. Uh, well, on this actual map itself, and then hopefully I can just get to the super raid there without having to leave the map. So I think I might just try that actually. So I'll just quick save first before we keep running into the dam. Auto saves again and again. And there we go. Enough like skulking around the skull the uh, sores. Eh? So as for where to merge though, hmm. well hopefully it's around here, I think. And oh that's another entrance to the underscore, there you go. Huh. There you go, not too shabby. So I don't remember actually rescuing the Duke in the previous time I played this game, but it's possible I might have actually missed the quest um because I didn't really feel like assaulting the flaming fist building or I just wasn't really uh, compelled to for whatever reason. That's what the hell, we'll see if we can actually complete these additional quests. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How does... Oh, God. Uh, okay, well, let's try that again. Oops. Uh, okay, so if we go through here, and then we take the next ladder up, and I'm pretty sure I searched that way before, but if we take the next ladder up to the surface, hopefully that should get us to the, um, to the Harp Masters building. Hopefully. And there we go, perfect. So yes, I was kind of hoping to do a bit more um, Men of War stuff, but uh, yeah, unfortunately it's just really hard to get games going and then we had people quitting and... Oh! Carrying crawlers, of course, but... Uh, <laughs> incoming... But um, yeah, I had various technical issues which kind of exacerbated things a bit. And... Really? Okay, down they go. So yeah, just thought you know, might as well do a bit of uh, Baldur's Gate to our and yeah, of course I've got to replace the uh, damn battery on the um, on the um, smoke detector as well. Even though it's got a thing for working off the AC power as well, it keeps making a noise if it doesn't have a damn battery in it. So ah, <laughs> uh, fun times. Anyway, where did oh, you've got to be kidding me? How in God's name does that make any sense? Ah, <laughs> uh, in. Incredible, simply incredible. At least those carrion crawlers didn't respawn, I suppose, but, uh... Yeah. Well, I must say, I am rather perplexed as to how I'm supposed to actually get to the, um... Harbour Master's building, then. By using the sewers. Man, this is just getting silly. I mean, it... Uh, it just... Ah... <laughs> uh, God, all right, where the hell are we now? Oh my God! Now, really, we're actually t uh, further towards the east, of course. All right, I think I'll just reload from the quick save, and I'll see if I can just um, get around those damn guards another way. Really, this is just getting silly. So, if I go up here, is there a way I can go around here, perhaps? Damn it! Bloody buildings everywhere to block my path. Very strategically positioned. Actually, I might just read those letters quickly as well. Mission moderation. Ah, yeah, it's an important note. It even tells you in the game. That's pretty key. Nice. Oh yes, certainly an important note, which means this one is probably uh, not that important, but what the hell, we'll just hold on to it anyway, really. Uh, so anyway, let's just get back up here. Wait a minute, this is where I was before, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, well anyway, hopefully this time we can avoid those damn flaming fist guys. So yeah, travelling for the souls is kind of uh, annoying in the extreme. What building is this Art Joplin's Tavern? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Although, with the way these guys were travelling, I think I might have been able to actually avoid them. The only problem is I was just a bit sloppy with getting my guys to basically uh, to hug the walls there. Yeah, there you go, apparently it is possible, so I just have to uh, be a little bit more careful. Let me just get these guys all the way here. Okay, there we go, now I'll try to uh, get them around here. Oh, 
Interesting how this guy's. Maybe we should have just tried to bribe those guys to begin with, I don't know. Uh, no, it doesn't bode well. It's too bad he couldn't just talk with these other guys, though. And that guy presumably went into the source. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be very annoying, I can tell that. So I don't know where the damn. Well, the source just. It just. They seem to work completely counterintuitively. Uh, actually, maybe that invisibility spill would be. Uh, Handy right about now. Uh, let's see, and of course I don't have it there. Okay, screw it, I guess I'll just have to memorize it. Wow. <laughs> just simply wow. Alright, so hopefully just memorizing it uh, twice should be enough. Whole person. Yep, since we'll be. The next situation we should be dealing with would be mostly a crowd situation, so I'll just. Uh, oh, wow, another cutscene. Tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are. The kobold scorned like a rodent. The ogre that children fear comes in the night. The mobs and their torches now come for you, counting you among the creatures you once did hunt. Or so someone would have you believe. Once again you hear the voice. A voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks of destiny and nature, and of evils bred in the bone. It says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The essence of Baal within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces. I wonder if it'd say the same thing if you were playing an evil character. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. As it fades from your mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not, others that will embrace what you have rejected, and others that will be your death. This describes but one man, and you know of no other it could be. He who orchestrated your fall, deceived your comrades, and deserves all that your justice shall meet upon him, Sarabak. He is a debt that must be paid to the whole of the Sword Coast. You awake sure of your cause, and of what must be done. Hmm. Indeed. So there you go, I actually managed to rest again without uh, getting detected. <laughs> hate to think. Anyway, so anyway, let's... Sh oh, I probably should have memorized that invis invisibility spell once more, actually, because I still need to get into the damn uh, Ducal Palace. Whoops. Ah, oh, well, whatever. We'll get these guys invisible first. Apparently that invisibility spell is not as long ranged as I thought it'd be. I'm gonna try that one more time. Jeez, that was pretty pissed. What you think? I'm pretty sure it said it was bloody ten feet. And that didn't feel like ten feet. It felt, felt more like uh, ten inches. But I'll we'll try that once more. There we go. That's a bit more like it. And there you go, just like that, so we'll be able to bypass the uh, security of Boulder's Gates. There they are. So as long as we can get to the Hard Masters building, we should be pretty dandy. Actually, should I really bother initiating conversation with him? Ah, what the hell, screw it all down. I wonder if this will actually break visibility. Oh, it's not bad, it still talks to me. <laughs> ah, not bad. And he'll just ask him again. Ah yeah, and she's invisible, of course. Yeah, this looks like dialogue does um, do that. Oh, what do you know? Courtesans during the day. Actually, what happens if we try to initiate... Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> Still got a couple of guys trying to come in. 
and they got nothing to say to me anyway. Well, whatever, let's just get the hell in there. And it's the Hard Masters building we go. <laughs> Enzo. And away he goes. Wow. It's just an experience reward. I wonder if that does actually affect anything later in the game. And I wonder if maybe I could just try going again to the Iron Front, because I did see those guards moving around a bit, so it's possible... Yeah, whatever. It's possible that they might have actually um, have walked away, although I would doubt it. <laughs> hey, what the hell, one can be hopeful, eh? Yes, indeed, it's law. God damn it. Uh, not bad, not bad. I suppose it's nice how the game sort of gives you a choice of whether you know you want to actually attack them or uh, you know ensnare them in a web or something like that, or if you want to you know just sneak by them. Yeah, out to help. You can give them the money, but the problem is that it doesn't really seem to do any good though. They just keep asking for more. But anyway, <laughs> so where the hell does this lead? I wonder. Really? This, oh, really, there was actually, it was there all along, I just couldn't see it. Oh, okay, now I see it, that little, yeah, that little, um, ladder. Wow. There's... Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't think there would have been much chance of me finding that out on my own, really. Not without a lot of guesswork, because it's, it's pretty well hidden, that damn ladder there. Uh, well, anyway, let's keep going, and I think we still got those carrion crawlers to deal with, but I'm pretty... Hell's, really? What the hell are they doing down there? Yeah, right. Hmm. Oh, there you go, she's got a bit of sensor list. Anyway, let's keep going, and perhaps get a bit more uh, backstory, perhaps, and as the carrion crawlers... Oh, they're not there. Oh, there you go. So pretty sure if we go back this way, we should be able to get to the, um, to the basement of the uh, Iron Throne, and yeah, from there we could just, uh... Where is that guy? Oh yeah, he's dead, right? <laughs> yeah, we can just, um, investigate there a bit, and yeah, then finally get back to the, uh, Ducal Palace, I believe, with the invitation, and somehow actually avoid getting arrested there and there. <laughs> And then stop the assassinate. Sorry, the assassination from taking place. There you go. Fun times. So let's just get back up here. And yes, I believe. Um, yeah, there should be some new stuff in this uh, in the Iron Throne building happening. I think they should be commenting on how uh, Saravok is screwing them all and uh, yeah, basically uh, doing some pretty stupid things. Or what appears to be stupid things. What is his motivation? Though we shall find out. So we'll just save once more. Okay, and is she going to attack us, I wonder? <laughs> yeah, well that was a so sure. Ah, oh, there you go, she's actually standing to, to, to talk, talk a bit more. Too bad. Uh, it's kind of ironic, given that the Iron Throne is basically all about profiteering. But anyway, uh, oh, there we go. She says kill me if you must, but she sort of just ran off. So I wonder if actually if I do get to fight anyone then. Huh. Yeah, just asking who he is. <laughs> Pangwallon. That's a great name. <laughs> 